Espanyol need to rediscover their defensive solidity in order to forget their end to 2016, in which they were heavily beaten by Barcelona and knocked out of the Copa del Rey. Kika Sanchez Flores is waiting on the fitness of Leo Baptista and Diego Lopez, meaning Roberto could be back in goal. That's Carlos Clark for coming this good ball in, Ryan Babo! Deportivo are still chasing their first away win and have seen Ryan Babel leave for Besiktas. The fortress of Iparua welcomes an Atletico Madrid side who can ill afford any further slip-ups as they fight for a Champions League spot. Diego Simeone's men haven't won on their travels in La Liga for over a month and striker Antoine Griezmann is on a Liga scoring drought stretching back to October the 2nd. The coach feels his side will be ready after the winter break. It might be that the break is useful for a rest and to look for solutions so that the team respond. The midfield performance from Saul was brilliant. Gabi's work was as good as ever and Sime played very well. Despite not scoring, Gameiro was tremendous. Griezmann is as good as always, but unfortunately the goals aren't coming for him. With this work, we hope to get consistency in the new year. Jose Luis Mendelibar hopes to bring back Asier Riesgo in goal and keep up his side's effectiveness at home, where they've won 17 points from a possible 24. It's Pedro Leon, and he curls it through. Pedro Leon scores. Real Betis down a man and down a goal. Sporting Gijón's trip to Las Palmas provides Kika Setien's side with an opportunity to put a winless run of three games to an end against struggling opposition. Sporting are attempting to move out of the drop zone and make big improvements to their results. Consolation goal, wouldn't it? Whoops, still could get it. Carmona! more by accident than by design. The situation is what it is. We've got five points from 39, we can't cover it up, and I'm the main person responsible. There's no excuse. In the end, the coach is the main person responsible. Presses the accelerator. She's better from Inyaki Williams. Inyaki Williams, can he finish? Inyaki Williams! Following wins against Real Sociedad and Eibar, Athletic Club want to complete a hat-trick in Basque derbies. Ernesto Valverde's side have added motivation as they look to dedicate victory to Yeray Alvarez, who recently underwent surgery on a testicular tumour. Plays it through Davison with the touch. Alaves go ahead. Alaves have had good results as of late, but Mauricio Pellegrino will be without one of the revelations of the season. Teo Hernández. Just two points separate these two teams in the table. Betis have used the new coach factor as they've dropped just two points at home since the appointment of Victor Sanchez del Amo. Leganes have taken three consecutive draws and Galitano will be without Iago Herrerin. Guerrero looks to score for a third game on the trot. This could be a chance, it could be a chance, this could be a chance and yes sir, Miguel Angel Guerrero. Celta and Malaga resume the season in a tricky position as both sides haven't won in three Liga games. 
the Andalusians will give a managerial debut to Marcelo Romero after the resignation of Juan de Ramos in December. His challenge is to improve the consistency of the squad. It's an honor to be in this situation. I think it's been a lot of what they've had the privilege of being in this position. It's an honor to be in this position. I'm one of a privileged few. I hope to be like Bemba or Benitez here and share things both inside and outside the club. To have this acknowledgement, this love from the fans and this support at this time says it all as a player and a person. Both these sides as Bongonda now has another chance. Yago Aspas is in the centre. Can he find him? He does! Gets the Celta touch. will be hoping that Yago Aspas is at the same level as he was at San Mamés in order to end a poor run and move closer to the European places. After losing his first five matches in charge in Pamplona, Joaquin Caparros has been ousted ahead of Osasuna's first La Liga clash of the new year against Valencia. His replacement will be the current sporting director, Petar Vasilievich, who will be tasked with trying to save the team who are rock bottom in La Liga standings. So far, they've only managed the one win all season. The opposition are a Valencia side in critical condition, following the departure of Cesare Prandelli just three months after taking over at the club. Depending on the results of this match day, they could end the weekend in the relegation spots. Taking the hot seat for the fifth time is Salvador González, Voro, who's likely to remain coach for the remainder of the season.